Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning about some common options that all selection tools share. The tools that share these options are the rectangle select tool, the ellipse select tool, the free select tool, the scissor select tool, the foreground select tool, the fuzzy select tool, and the select by color tool. To demonstrate these options, I will be using the Rectangle Select tool. You will see Mode, Anti-Aliasing, and Feather Edges for many if not all the tools I previously listed. Mode determines how each new selection you create will interact with the previous selection in your project. Replace the current selection will create a new selection every time. Add to the current selection will continue to add selections that you create to the previous selection. Subtract from current selection We'll subtract each new selection you create from the previous selection. And intersect with the current selection will contain the previous selection within the new selection you draw out. Now, using the ellipse select tool, we can look at anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing smooths out the edges of your selection. This is best demonstrated if I fill this selection. Now I will create another selection with anti-aliasing toggled off. See how much more rough the edges are? Feather Edges will soften the edges of your selection. After selecting Feather Edges, an extra slider bar will appear. With this, we can edit the intensity of our feather. Again, this is best demonstrated if I fill the selection. This is the appearance of a feather at a smaller value. And then I will create a higher value And we can see how much more dramatic the feather is once we've increased that slider bar. And that's it. You now know how to navigate the common options of the selection tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.